Huge crowds are awaiting word of the royal birth outside St. Mary's Hospital and Buckingham Palace. Joining us now live from London with an inside look at the royal family is Grant Harold. He is a former member of the royal household as he served as butler to Prince Charles. He joins us now live over the phone or via Skype. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having you on your show. I want to just start with your thoughts. Uh, give us a sense of the baby fever in London. Do you think royal fever has reached a new level this time? Well, do you know, I, I think in some ways it has, in other ways it hasn't, because it's been a while since we last had a, a birth uh, this important within the royal, the royal family. So I think we're, we're getting to see that, that excitement all over again. It probably existed around about 30 years ago. Uh, so yes, I think, I think just now um, London is at an exciting point. But the royals have always been in the media spotlight, as you mentioned. This is a milestone within the family and uh, really history in the making. But give us a sense, how have things changed, though, since uh, the births of Harry and William? I think it's just we, we now live in the, obviously the first thing, we live in the 21st century now, and things are very much moving forward. I was watching some news footage of, of the, back then from the, the early 1980s, and I, I just think things have very much kind of moved on, you know, um, over the last 30 years. And the, the royals today, the, the younger royals, are very much a, it's a, it's a younger generation. You know, they do things like anybody else of that generation would be doing uh, as well. Yeah, it certainly does seem the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have helped modernize the monarchy, as we say. How do you think they will change what it means to be a royal parent? I think uh, the, the, what people will see is, uh, as everybody already knows, William and Kate are two uh, very down to earth, really nice uh, people. And as parents, I, I think personally, I think they'd be fantastic parents. And you, you know, they, they're very much uh, the modern people. They're two young modern people, and I think the child we brought up, like any other parent of, of that age, you know, I think that it's going to have a fantastic, very normal, uh, if, that, if I can use that word, upbringing. Yeah, the Duke and Duchess, of course, as you've said, a very modern upbringing. But uh, the royal birth, uh, what we're going to be seeing is steeped in some centuries-old traditions. Mm -hmm. So tell us, once the baby arrives, what are some of these uh, traditions that we'll see play out? Well, one of the, the first traditions, which I think everybody's waiting for, is at the, the, the front of that hospital. All the cameras of the world seem to be on those doors just now. Uh, and that's because as soon as, the, uh, as, soon as the, a member of the household will at some point possibly this evening, I'm, I'm guessing, will leave the, the hospital with uh, an envelope, and inside the envelope will be the information of the baby, the, the sex of the baby, possibly the name. That, that could, be, it could have the name, it might not. Uh, you'll see the, the car will then leave the hospital and drive across to Buckingham Palace, which isn't too, too long a distance. And um, the note will then go inside the palace, and a member of the royal household will bring it out and put it on an easel on the uh, on the forecourt of Buckingham Palace, so that everybody can then see. That's when the world will then know the uh, the sex, and if if the name's given, the name of the, the the future monarch. So, when will the royal family get to gather to see the baby? Is there a moment for just the family to get together? I think with the royal family, with any family, it's, it's very much, as I was saying to somebody earlier on, it's, it's very much the same. Uh, you know, I think if there's a chance for them all to get together, they will. Uh, I'm not sure how it, will, how it will play out. You know, I, I was listening to a couple of reports today saying that different members of the royal family might even go down to visit the hospital if, if she's in for a while. Or, you know, it's, it's difficult to say. But I think as soon as, as, soon as uh, there's an opportunity for the family to get together, they, they, I'm sure they will. And you, uh, as we mentioned earlier, you served as Prince Charles's former butler. So can you give us any insight on his thoughts on becoming a grandfather? I'm sure, you know, but one of my, as I said, my role there was, was one of the butlers. And, you know, it's quite an amazing position to, to, well, to be exact, an underbutler. And it's quite an amazing position to work for somebody, you know, like the Prince of Wales. I think uh, he's, um, I'm sure, like any other future grandfather, he's going to be very excited and, and thrilled. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's such a big occasion for the whole family. Yeah, it certainly is a happy time. And we talk about all the attention, the media spotlight. But, you know, we look back and we know Princess Diana, she struggled with that spotlight, the intense media glare on her. And she tried to shield her children. And now we're seeing a big public frenzy over this new baby. How do you think this will shape William's approach to parenting and even the press? Uh, hopefully it, it won't, you know, I'm hoping that as parents they'll, they'll do it their way, you know, they're, they're not going to hopefully be too influenced by what's going on around about. But as you say, the reality is, you know, unlike many other millions of births that are going on around the world, you know, they haven't all got half the, or well, all the world's going to press outside the, uh, outside the hospital. And the thing is, they, they've lived in that spotlight almost, you know, since the day they were born. And 
I think they they all deal with it very well, and I think you know they'll 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 be fine. You know they'll they'll pass it on to the the, the child, and and they'll survive. They'll they'll get through it. All right, and Grant, I'm going to put you on the spot just for a final question. Boy or girl, what do you think? Uh, my gut feeling, I, I don't know why, I'm, I'm going with a girl, I don't know why. All but right. We'll, we'll see, that's, that's just my, my personal feeling. All right, we will see if you are correct. I want to thank you so <laughs> much, though, for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me on the show. Thank you. <laughs> yes, have a great day. That is Grant Harold, the former butler to Prince Charles in London, joining us via Skype.